Good morning, guys. It is a beautiful early March day. A uh, little bit of frost on the ground, but it's going to warm up uh, nicely here in Victoria. So what I want to talk to you guys about is uh, the leaf mold. It's been a couple months since we moved the leaf mold from one of the bigger bins into this smaller bin. And we've added a few things uh, from viewer suggestions. And uh, the results, um, at least to me, have been super fascinating. So I just want to kind of quickly go through um, and, and show you uh, what we've done and what has happened because of it. So let's go. All right, so something that's really fascinating to me is uh, Korean natural farming, uh, KNF for short. Um, I've done a tiny little bit of reading on it and watched a few videos. So uh, we actually, or I did, I actually created um, a fungal culture by flipping a Bokashi bucket, Bokashi composting, it's basically a, a pre-composting thing that we do here. Um, but I flipped the bucket upside down on top of wood chips and a couple months had passed and I was cleaning up the, uh, the buckets and basically cleaning up the area. And when I took the bucket off, there was a ton of fungal growth there. So I think it starts with saprophytic fungi. All you can efforts, please let me know if I'm getting this wrong. Um, saprophytic fungi, which then uh, turns into hyphae, which then turns into uh, mycelium. So what we did was we took the wood chips from over there, placed it on top, added a little fish hydrolysate Thank you, Kramer from Kramer's Backyard. And um, just let it be, covered it with a, a garbage bag. So um, so I came over today, uh, I got some composting stuff to do, and I just took the bag off and a couple of really interesting things are, are happening. So I just wanna take you guys in and uh, so you can have a look. Okay, so as you can see, um, the temperature of the leaf mold has been super stable. It's been about this temperature just over, uh, well, just under 50 degrees since we moved it over, um, which is really good because that's what you want for a fungally dominated leaf mold, which is what I'm going for. Uh, secondly, where, and most interestingly to me, I can actually physically see where I put the IMO and wood chips in the middle of the bin that part has actually sunken where on the sides of the bins on the side it stayed much drier and hasn't decayed nearly as much now i think that is a function of the uh saprophyte fungi and the hyphae actually holding the moisture in the leaves and and also doing their job which is to consume uh, decomposing material and actually speed up that process. So um, I'm a bit blown away. I mean, it's only been two months. I plan to leave this for a couple years, probably. Um, but just a fascinating way to fungally speed up your leaf mold process. Uh, you can bacterially. You can add tons of nitrogen. You can add from anything you want, which is which is fine. But what I'm going for is to a finished amendment that's full of uh, uh, micronutrients and a fungally dominated uh, material. All right, so uh, just to quickly wrap up, I am gonna obviously keep an eye on the moisture. I will water this in a little bit, especially on the edges and cover it back up with the, uh, the garbage bag and, and just monitor it once a month, once every two months um and just make sure that the the moisture content is good uh in the middle seems to take care of itself right now it, it's it's absolutely amazing in there and uh yeah uh k and f something uh something to it for sure and um something i'm gonna hopefully learn a lot more about and uh if you guys got any uh comments questions concerns uh please let us know it's uh it's been a really fun journey um learning a lot more about uh what's actually going on under our feet so um yeah you guys have a great day stay awesome and we'll uh we'll see you in the next one